In today's funny story joke episode of What Were We Thinking Animal Antics Edition, we head down to the muddiest, snortiest corner of the farmyard, Pig City. Now, these guys get a bad rap for being, well, a little leisurely. But before you judge a book by its floppy ears, let's just say Babe wasn't the only brainiac in the pig pen. So, the real question isn't, are they dumb? But rather, why the lounging lizard act? Buckle up, folks, because the answer to that juicy question is coming up after the break. We'll also be taking a hilarious detour to see who else showed up late to the characteristic distribution party hosted by the big guy upstairs. Spoiler alert, let's just say some animals got all the good stuff while others got stuck with the leftover weirdness. Stay tuned, and remember, laughter is the best medicine. Besides that stuff pigs might discover in their future fancy lab coats. Just saying. Move over, lassie. There's a new Brainiac in town, and it comes complete with a corkscrew tail and a penchant for belly rubs. Yes, I'm talking about pigs, those adorable oinks with more intellectual horsepower than you might expect. Forget Hollywood's talking swine. Real-life pigs are studious aces, remembering complex tasks, like that special piggy bank trick that led to a bacon bonanza months later. They're basically walking Rolodexes with snouts, these brainy porkers are also navigational ninjas. Don't be fooled by the cute piglets bouncing around the sky. They're training for the Piglympics, a future event perhaps. With their inner GPS, they're maze running champions, finding the fastest route to a mud puddle, or if they're feeling adventurous, the nearest donut. Speaking of tools, pigs are the original oinker engineers. Don't expect spaceships, but they have a surprising knack for getting things done. Need a comfy napping spot? No problem. Just grab a stick and watch them dig like pros. Feeling a bit vain? Pigs have even been known to use mirrors to check out their undeniably intelligent reflections. Step aside, Mario. There's a new contender in town. Pigs are surprisingly adept at mastering touchscreen games. They use their snouts to navigate, strategize, and achieve their goals all while potentially oinking insults at the virtual pigs they're trouncing. Social butterflies with excellent sniffing skills, pigs are the ultimate party animals, minus the dancing, because of hooves. They form strong bonds, communicate like gossip queens at a pigsty salon, and even show empathy towards their fellow oinkers. Basically, they're the most supportive friend group you could ask for, as long as you don't mind sharing your snacks. So. The next time you see a pig snoozing in the mud, don't underestimate that snorting scholar. Their minds are like well-cured hams, full of surprising depth and flavor. Who knows, maybe someday we'll have prestigious universities like Swineford or Hogwarts, with a touch of magic, of course, where these brilliant creatures can truly reach their full potential. Just imagine the possibilities, a world powered by pig-engineered wind farms made of mud or a cure for the common cold discovered by a team of bespectacled pigs in tiny lab coats. The future is looking bright, and it's definitely smelling like truffles. All right, folks, gather around the virtual campfire for some Animal Kingdom gossip. Picture this. The Almighty is throwing a cosmic pool party, handing out personality traits like pool floats. Lions are snagging the bravery floaties. Dolphins are grabbing the social butterfly pool noodles. But who gets stuck with the inflatable inner tube of laziness? You guessed it, the pigs. It's a sunny day with all the kingdom's animals gathered around when God is handing out characteristics to all of the animals, and he's getting close to the end of the list. All the animals have picked except the lions, the beavers, and the pigs. God looks up from the list and says, Who wants courage? One of the pigs says to another, Ooh, we should get that. The other one says, Nah, who wants to be courageous? You have to strut around. Humans will start hunting you. It's a huge pain. Let's wait. The lions speak up and take the courage. Next up, industrious. Who wants to be known for being industrious? Hey, we could definitely be that. Make stuff, stay busy, it sounds good. The other pig says, Are you crazy? Get up at dawn? Work all day? Who wants that? I'm sure God saved the best for last. The beavers pipe up and take industriousness. 
So God goes back to his list. Next up, we have Wings. Who wants to fly? The first pig says, Wow, we've got to get that one. We could fly all day. The second pig says, Exactly. Fly around all day, beat your wings all the time. That sounds exhausting. You'd have to fly for hours beating your wings like mad to stay aloft. No thank you. Let's wait for the really good stuff. God looks at his list, getting to the end. Let's see, claws are taken, flight went to the birds, the cheetah got speed. Okay, here we go. Who wants to be delicious? <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.